Andy Moore and Sir Jeff Hurst The trailer booking and Billy Bones A pound of gig in the old West Ham United We celebrate our victories We stick together in defeat I'm proud of our history The West Ham United More than just a podcast Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is more than just a podcast. Podcast. It is season 13, it is episode of 46, I nearly forgot. And we're back again. If you haven't listened to 45, go back and listen to it. It's a cracker. We talk about losing again and... Nigel loses it instead of Len this time. Um, but we're and Sean's back. just a fucking loser. Oh, right. Don't All right. Me, calm down. Calm down. Anyway, it's question time. We're back with Ian Dale. We're back with Canning Town Len. And we're back with the shed man, Nigel Khan. Um, and I suppose uh, it's time for this. That's the yeah. yeah. Facebook for the question time. Where I'm you, on the Brady Arts again. The eight listeners get to ask us, the four presenters this evening, questions. And and, and hopefully there's not too many tonight because it's Easter and people are probably with their families celebrating. You know, Jesus yeah. died right. and rose again, didn't he? As it's Facebook, Twitter, question time, I posted on both. So oh. I will go to Twitter first because oh. there's five or six on there. Okay. Uh, so first up, I took <coughs> questions, basically. That's it. I didn't ask. So, ah, Cruxford, the boy Sester Hammer says, Evening, Nigel. Well, you're well. He's just aimed it at me. But he's asked, what's your brand of trainers and why? Brady out. Brady Sullivan out. out. Sullivan we'll out. We'll run like a circus out. Clowns out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I am a Reebok Classic uh, generally in white, though I do have a black pair, and uh, I get a new pair every year. So uh, I only have one brand of trainer, and it's Reebok, and it has to be classic. Well, I'm on Under Armour, but I'm just about to move to Nike, and there's a reason for that. I've got really wide feet, 4E, right? Mm-hmm. And if you I'd have wide feet, you should be. If they were a bit no. narrow, would you I've be I've got taller? wide feet, and if you have wide feet, you have to have what's called a a, a 4E. They're really hard to get, actually, because everywhere oh. else is just a 2. So, yeah, that's why I've got Under Armour at the moment, but I'm going back tonight because they've got a 4E. There's a, that there's a website balance, called wideshoes.com that is you have it? to get. That, does, does that help balance you out? Does yeah, it? I've got flat yeah. feet. Couldn't have joined oh. the army. Oh. Uh, Ian, Ian, what's your, what's your... I bet you don't wear trainers. What do you think I go to the gym in, then? You go to the gym? Yes. Oh, he's taking the piss <laughs> out of you, he is. <laughs> once, oh, once, a week, for that. once a week with the lovely Aaron, who takes me through my paces. Oh, is he your personal trainer? He is. And what, what's Spurs it? Uh, supporter. Oh, dear. And what, what, what does he do? What do you do? Is it all CV work or, um, or is no, it a bit it's more? Not. It's, lifting it, it's basically to strengthen my right knee and to rehabilitate my oh, which I so it's not keep fit it's more year. like um what's well it, it is it is keep fit physiotherapy it's no, no it's not no it's not no hands are laid on me unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so i i have um a pair of adidas trainers or what i used to when i was at school called adidas um and they are west ham colors Ooh. All day I dream about sex, as I used to say at school. Did they? Well, oh, that's what Andy Dash used to be called. Oh, all right. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. You've learnt something. Probably not in Tunbridge Wells. <laughs> no. Disgusted of. So, yes. So that's what that's what I have. Len. Yeah. The missus buys... She she likes buying stuff, my missus. Yeah. Especially in the footwear. You know what women are like. Prada. Don't tell me. You've got Prada. No, don't be daft. I've got Nikes, Adidas. Nike uh, or Converse, Nike? Nike. Vans. Nike. You want to say Nike? But I, I, I never said Nike before in my life. But. Okay. And I've got a pair of Hunter Wellies. 
Of course she you do. Footwear. Of course you do. Live in an Essex. See, I would have imagined yeah. Sean. Don't live in Essex. Hunter Hunter I've got Hunter Willis. Of course I've got yeah, Hunter Willis. Of course you have. <laughs> How would you go for a dog walk in the countryside? How would you do, do you that know what? without Hunter Wellies? I had my original Hunt, Hunter Wellies from 1984 up until two, ye- yeah, two years ago. No, they do, they're built to last, Hunter Wellies. They are. Well, they didn't oh. in the end, but Fantastic. they just went hard in the heat. Nigel, yeah. got any Hunter Wellies? I, I, I don't even own Wellies, mate. Um, <laughs> if I walk the dog, I'll stick my boots on. I've got my Dr. Martin boots. Oh, of course you do. Anywho... Anywho, Malcolm Warrington says, Evening, gentlemen, and you, Sean. Uh, what's Hughes Lot's thoughts on Kufal with regards to his contract? We didn't discuss that. I, mean, I think he's been a good servant, could be good offensively, but he's not the best defensively. Believes he was naive on Saturday for the penalty. Could be an upgrade in summer. Len? Yeah. Brady out. Brady out. Kufal. Kufal. Served as well, but you've got to start looking beyond players like that, don't you? I mean, it sounds like his contract's been... Players that don't know, he's had his contract extended on the same terms, which means he has. We want to sell you. We want to get a little bit more for you, which I don't think's that bad for us. He's had a good time. You know. Party don't Ian, you like Kufa? I think it's Sufo, isn't it? I think Super. he's been a superb player for us over the years. I think he, we should well, hang on to him. And, um, but we should also always be looking to improve the squad. And I mean, if you if you look, scroll forward to the summer and look at the positions that we need to fill, the main thing is we do need to have a good striker. We've been saying that for God knows how many years, but we really do now. Um, but I think right back is an area that we could improve. Ben Johnson is clearly not going to hang around. So um, yeah, we need to spend a bit of money there. Oh, there you go. Sean? I think he's had a, a good season and I think, you know, he is prone to the odd mistake, but I think he really wears his heart on his sleeve. He plays for this club and I think he's been a great servant. And, um, you know, like Ian said, if someone comes along better, of course we want to improve all the time. But I think um, I'd keep him as a as a squad player next season. Right, OK. okay. Next up, it's Glenn, or the real just Glenn. And he asks a question that only I can answer. Because he says, who was the best earning keeper, you or Jeff? You'll be surprised. We think Jeff. Well... I do I point out as I point out to the Glenn, real just Glenn, who I know who Glenn is. Uh, all I had to say was which one won Player of the Season one year. At Jeff. which point he gives it away and says, "You were the sympathy vote." Uh, no, it was me actually. Oh, uh, but Jeff was a good goalkeeper uh, and a very good DJ because he DJed my wedding. Um, uh, so you know, yeah. Jeff. Good old man. He was a good name. Uh, well, DJ Jeff, as I used to call him to me mates. So, uh, and Jeff was a West Ham fan as well. So, uh, all, oh, all I like good Jeff. There. Sounds like a good yeah. bloke. Everybody liked Jeff, actually. He was a very nice person. Uh, not that Glenn wasn't. We all like Glenn as well. Uh, now we'll just know who he is. Uh, the, the new stadium says that we can in down the days to a new manager. Oh, I am. No. Are we? I am Sean. We didn't, didn't ask. I, you. I understand you are, but I I have had a bet, as you know, and I do yeah, not you're going to lose it. I ain't going to lose it. it. He's going to oh, stay. I, I, I'll have that bet with you then. I'll make it five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Won't it? No, I don't. No, I'm not yeah, that you're sure. Fuck, you fucking don't sound so confident. No, I, I don't. am. Yeah. I know something you don't know. Uh-huh. Uh, start Phillips or not? Says um, Turner's number seven. When uh, you mean against Spurs? Tuesday night. No. Why didn't no. he? No. You can't, can you now? I... But why don't if if he's, this is what I don't understand about Moyes? If you're saying, you know, you need to get behind people, then why didn't he start the weekend? I mean, he's literally bought him to re- replace Alvarez, and when the time come, he didn't do it. He played James Ward Prowse. But James Ward Prowse has dropped since 
um, Antonio's been back. James Ward Prowse didn't deserve to be dropped either. And, you know, James Ward Prowse is. Yeah, a... but that's, uh, that, unfortunately, sometimes if you want to move to this next level that you keep going on about, yeah. good players are going to be dropped. So I don't understand why that isn't Ward Prowse. Because he, he brings, out of everyone, he seems to bring the least. Or if you rather miss out another way, other players bring more. Yeah. So when you're buying a player that we thought was of Phillips's calibre, and we assume that the, the, the manager has faith of him, why are you starting? Actually, you've just reminded me of a question that I want to ask you guys. James Ward Prowse. Uh, get in, get in line, yeah. It's, right. There's others here. I'm oh, just going to ask a question. Is it, oh, why was the queue. why was he not taking corners? Why was Bowen taking corners? He's supposed to be the best corner taker in the Premier League. Why was Bowen taking corners at the weekend? Anyone know? Yeah, Dave. Dave knows. Why don't you ask Dave? Right, he he doesn't talk to me. Oh, there's a reason. Lucky <laughs> old Dave. Go on. Well, in Ammer says, with Hugh sadly not with us, will Sean be the new primary Sullivan mouthpiece? Brady and Phillips out. Brady out. Well, I can't give Phillips out. He's not even no, in. That was a bit harsh, wasn't it? I mean. But uh, it, it, are you primary source now, Sean? I don't reveal who I speak to, so I couldn't possibly comment on that. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, last on Twitter. Uh, before we go to Facebook, is Andy Rockall, who may give away what team he supports when he says, was Moyes wrong to pick such a strong side at Newcastle ahead of Tuesday's Cup final? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, these Spurs fans, they make you chuckle. I think you'll see the same team again. (laughs) Yes. Don't you worry about that. Is is Alvarez still... um, Banned, he is, yeah. Two games. Yep. Two in the Premier, yeah, because you've got ten yellow cards this season, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Not, not five. You're right. I know I'm right. Uh, as the boys discovered on the coach ride up to Newcastle, I'm genuinely went by coach. Am right. Well, went we by went coach. by minibus. We went by minibus. Yeah, but all the people us. had to fucking put up with you. What about the Newcastle? Six of us, yeah. Mercedes. Um, fucking hell. No, Mes- Volkswagen. Oh, dear. No, it was lovely. With blacked out windows. You. Did it have a, like a mini fridge in it? Well, it didn't have a mini fridge, no. Oh, God. Did no. it have Wi Fi? No, I had 4G. Okay. Right. Is that all right? Yeah, fine. God, how much did that cost? £22 each. Is that all? Bargain. Yeah. It was my mate's van. <laughs> Oh, did you just make the petrol? I thought you'd yeah. hired it or something. No. 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 It was it was nice. Nice. Who did the driving? He, he did all of the driving, did he? BSB, he didn't take yeah. it. I oh, did offer. Is yeah, he still offer. um is he still driving um tippers? No, he's not cabin no more. No, no, no. no, no. He, all he went, tippers. No, no. All tippers. What's he doing now? No, Mini bus. He, <laughs> well, yeah, but what he does is he he, he runs a uh, care. Um, centre for like disabled kids. Okay. So, do you know him, Ian? BSB. I, I have met him several times. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Not yeah. lately, I have to say, but I have. He came to one of your golf days, didn't he, Nigel? He did. Yeah, he's come to both of them. Actually, well, all of them. In fact, we're doing it again this year, eh? but I'll let you know when when it, when, it, when we saw. Well, it. don't do that. So, if it's that same weekend, I can't go. So do it a different weekend. <laughs> oh, I, I will do it a different weekend. I've got all to right. go to. Um, the C- Cudbury Lit- Literary Festival in Scotland the first week. Oh, oh, what a thing oh, to right. do. I will look that mm. up and make sure it's not that weekend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, over to Facebook. Questions are open. Be quick, I said. Some were. So, first up is Scotty Neville, one of the Neville brothers, uh, if you remember them. And I don't mean Phil or Gary. I remember the band. Uh, why do you yeah. think Moyes didn't bring Cornet instead of Phillips? Do you think people may start it's to coward. understand fans' frustrations now with Moyes? Brady or Moyes out? Brady out, Moyes out. That is a good question, actually, because um, Cornet 
on his day, you can imagine playing a little bit of an Antonio role through the middle. He's got a sort of good physical build. Yeah. He's quite quick. Um, but, I mean, it's the first first match back since uh, the injury, so I suppose it might have been a bit of a risk. There, there's something yeah. there, though. There's something going on. Oh, sh- oh and Sean, he's a human being, Sean. Yeah, I, no, I agree. I, I, I agree. I said that. Not and sure. needs an arm around him. Yeah, no, no, you're right there. You're right there. I shouldn't criticise, but he's got oh, some medical said condition. It as well. Yeah, he's got a medical yeah. condition. These, to be these honest, human I beings that need your support. I didn't realise. Yeah, I didn't realise he was on the bench. I totally forgot about Corne. Oh, I forget um, about him as well. It's yeah, it's terrible, really. I don't think. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think he's a bad player, is he? He's just been unlucky with his injuries. Yeah. Um, did we get him from Burnley when they got relegated? Yep. Yeah. yeah. But he'd done well at Burnley, though, didn't he? If I'm right. Yeah. I watched yeah, a I lot of Burnley because I wanted to, to, no. to stay up and well, they might miss they some might. chances. But uh, mm. I don't, look, at least, at least he got the fucking chances there. He don't get what us to see. No. <coughs> no. I thought it was a good addition. Go. Next up, Chris Savile Row. Uh, put down his tailor in and gone. Uh, hi guys, uh, would you rather VAR gone permanently, or would you rather another season back at Upton Park? Ooh. He said Brady out. He said although Brady personally out. being I'm in Australia, I'd rather VAR gone. My son's five, and after every goal, he asks, "Will this can, or will they get rid of it?" I mean, there you go. That sums it up. This is his first reaction instead of celebrating, which breaks my heart for the next generation. That's a Great point you've made there, Chris. Other than being Australian, so he don't give a shit about up to He park. says he's in Australia. He I didn't say he's Australian. Um, but I said being I, in Australia, didn't I? Oh, right. I don't know. Sorry. You know uh, what did it for me on VAR was that, that clip that Sean posted on the WhatsApp group a few weeks ago of um, the, the audio of how they made the decision. Um, I can't remember what, oh, what the it was. Shot shot about Fucking and, I, mean, I, I, I listened to that and I thought, is this really how they make the decisions? I thought because it was, all they, yeah. All they were doing was looking, trying to find a way to, to disallow the goal. Yeah. yeah. Outrageous. Yeah. And um, do they release that audio for each one? No, no. Only how when, well, it got released. Um, you know, you know, who Ben Campbell is, you know, Ben Campbell's yeah. in charge yeah. of, um, uh, media now. PGM, but, I will. So yeah, we're going to try and get him here. on the podcast. That's the one. Yeah, uh, but they release that one uh, because of controversy. But unfortunately, they only release them when they think there's something to answer. But I don't think that helped them one little bit. Well, it really didn't. I mean, I thought it was disgusting, frankly. Because oh, they kept saying, "Well, when they when they realised they couldn't just allow it for one thing, they then look for another reason." And yeah, well, let's do that. that is what it is. It's yeah. what Nigel calls it—a goal destroyer. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Miserable, wasn't it? Well, my favourite bit of that clip, Ian, is when they go, uh, Bowen's offside, and then the assistant VR goes, he's got two, two people, people in the goal mouth. How can he be offside? Yeah, he went, yeah fair point. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I mean, Fucking we'd terrible. probably be better at doing that than they are. Yeah. But let's face it, we know fuck all. I think you just got to look at it and say, is there anything fucking clear in the Everest we missed? No. Goal. It should be that yeah, quick. Fine. So going back to the question, which which are you choosing, Ian? Upton Park for one get, season. Oh, get, get, get rid of VAR. Yeah. Thank you very much. I would actually my do dinner, that. My, my dinner has arrived. Oh, what is it? Tell us All what right. it is. Oh, it's, it's a hot dog. Roast chicken. Oh. Roast chicken. It's what? Go on, Woody. Go on. Go on. Uh, roast chicken, fried potatoes and red peppers. And red peppers. Yeah, what, what's the seasoning on it? Has it got any um, paprika? Oh, salt and pepper. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very, you're, you're still doing your Mindful Chef, Sean? Uh, yeah, I am, yeah. They're, yeah they're the ones that deliver a box, aren't they? They are the ones that deliver all the You know they're for the old week, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, I'm still losing weight. Ready for my yeah? win. You're, I'm gonna what, be... on your feet? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a shadow of my former self when you yeah when you I don't by think the end of the year now. fucking ten stone shadow I yeah. am I, I'm I'm about 103 kilos started at 112 I'm 103 so I'm looking to get under that 100 kilos uh, in the next month well that 
How tall are you? Five foot seven. I'm 103 kilos and I'm six foot two. Yeah. All right, all right. You made your point. And while one of you just, two I'm looks like saying. a barrel. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, well, I'll be under 103 suiting, Ian. Thanks for that. If if I worried and I was self-conscious, that might really put me in depression, but luckily oh, I don't well. give a shit. No, well, we'll try. <laughs> just uh, bear in mind, Sean, yeah. your height is supposed to be a bigger number than your circumference. Yeah, I get that. Thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, Devon Dukes of Hazard Senior <laughs> says, howdy, gents. Uh, two wins out of the last 11 Premier League games can't look good on Moyes. We don't when you put it like that, Dev. Objectively, he says, Haha. how else should the blame be spread? Is tomorrow going to be two out of 12? As always, I'll be watching from Charleston. Charleston, Charleston. Everybody do the Charleston. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I was not fond of an 8.30 kick-off Saturday. But a lot of our support... You should have seen me dancing it, mate. Uh, but a lot of our supporter crew showed up. Yeah, well, it was 12.30 for us. But I, I get your point. Um, I've got I've got a uh, video of Nigel dancing to Madness, uh, if you ever want to see that, Lee. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that? I've, I've seen... Yeah, I've seen the very... game. I can tell you where it was. Yeah. I've seen some very yeah. incriminating pictures of Nigel. Not, yeah, me too. Photos. <laughs> some he'll never recover from. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, actually, right, if care. it's the question I'm thinking of, I want to know how the bloody hell you've seen it. You mean the photo? What, the yeah. one that you do the things that you don't do? What? I don't do How have you seen that? You shared it about. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I don't worry because uh, I've got I've got photos of Sean as well with yeah. buttons bursting. Anyway, was that from last week? Um, piss off. Yeah, piss off. Yeah. When do you get married, Sean? Uh, December, December the twenty seventh. What stupid time to get married? Well, it's not. I'm going to Mexico. We're having Christmas in Mexico. Flying all the Americans was over that, and getting married. Is that so married. you don't have to invite us? Well, you can come. Yeah, more than merry. I said, you know, it's a couple of grand for a flight and probably another couple of grand for the hotel. But um, a right. person, um, you know, if you can, it's reassuringly expensive, you know, keeps the riffraff out. Well, if you're going to get married as often as you, you have to fucking think about the money. <laughs> come on, stag do we? Oh yeah, we're having, we're having a yeah, we're having one in split in Croatia in September. If if you're up for that, Ian, you can drink split. your cranberry split. Yeah. Why? Because I like split. It's very it's very architectural. It's very historic. A lot I of like Roman, a lot of Roman uh, ruins. I p- I prefer the banana version, I must admit. I like the <laughs> Nivy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Next up is old Ziggy Stardust himself. It's Davy Jones. Hey. Evening, all. He says, I haven't been able to watch any of game for the weekend because I'm in France. <laughs> uh, was it a capitulation has been portrayed on social media? No, Dave, no. it wasn't capitulation. And should West Ham take hey, any disciplinary action against Phillips? Brady out. No. Don't Brady believe out. in the guff you've read, Dave. Brady out. Barry Meikle, our favourite Canadian, apart from Palumi, of course. Uh, first off, he said that was a nice tribute to Hugh last week. Thank there you, you go. Didn't mention that, did we? We did that. Huge yeah. Thing. Did his family listen? Sean, oh, they did, did they? actually. So did um, they? I'm glad I behaved myself then. Yeah. So so <laughs> Katie's daughter rang me up and she sent it to his other daughter, Michelle Shell. Oh. Right. Um. And yeah, they were really really chuffed with that and thought it was a really. Emotional... Someone did ask me how tough it was. <laughs> and um, <laughs> well, said, well, in fact, I said I'll behave myself. Yeah, I sent the MP3. It's got, it's gone through all the the, the Southon family as well. Oh, was it? Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, such a disappointing 13 minutes at the weekend. Really thought we had it in the bag. Question for you, Slot. 
here we go. What's the worst snatch defeat from the jaws of victory moment in your West Ham watching lives? He's gone 2006 Cup Finals, probably up there for me. Oh, Brady. yeah. It's got to be, hasn't it? Is it? It's of course, this be. is where Come Nigel on. interjects and says, well, that weren't a defeat, though, wasn't it? Well, it was, wasn't it? Well, no, because we drew the game. It, yeah, but it went to penalties and we lost we the lost penalties. penalty shootout. Yeah. We lost the penalty shootout. We didn't lose the game. They didn't beat us. We just knew. We'd had us, uh, we lost the will to live after that. You just knew it would have then ended up. But I, I can remember walking out of the stadium after that, and it didn't feel mm. like a loss. It was one of the rare occasions when, okay, obviously we did lose. Yeah. But you just felt privileged to have been such a, such a brilliant game and like Liverpool fans coming up to you shaking your hand saying well you should have won that I like, guess yeah. so well we kind of did yeah <laughs> I had that I really had weird. Put, yeah I had Scouser put his arm around me at the station and said you know basically what, what did he nick son, he yeah, didn't, well, he didn't nick anything yeah, 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 well, what what the, the FA right? Cup did that's he, what he nicked did he touch you up no okay uh, and he, 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 he he's you know he said, at least, you know, you was here to witness one of the greatest cup finals in history. And I just pointed out to him, typical scarcers, you just won two trophies and at no point in either game was you ever winning them. Because at no point in the that, European Cup were they that, ever in front. That Gerard Cross still haunts me. I can see it yeah. in slow motion. A friend of mine who's a... a, a can you not a, drive around the M25 then? Do you get, do you get stuck around that part? As a... a, 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 a <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a Southampton season ticket holder who I work with sent me a text literally as that happened. He went, you've got this in the bag. The text arrived and that cross seemed to hang in. And it was a cross, wasn't it? It seemed to hang in the air. No, it was went a in. shot. It was a cross. It, it was a 40-yard shot. You're talking to Koncheski's yeah. cross. It was a cross. Oh, Koncheski, right. Hmm. Anyway, right. Lionel, up, Lionel, who was a bloke? Who didn't, Scaloni. Scaloni. Blair. Sorry, I missed the trick there. I should have gone Blair, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay. Talking of that, I meant to ask Ian, did you know Keir Starmer was in the director's box for the 6-0 loss against Arsenal? I, I didn't. Why shouldn't he have been? Well, I don't know. I didn't didn't know he was mates with the directors. I thought they've always been true blue. So I'm surprised. He's an Arsenal he, fan. He is an Arsenal fan. I'm surprised he was invited into the director's box. Maybe they're thinking ahead. Well, actually, it was probably uh, Sadiq Khan that invited him in, thinking about it afterwards, rather than. Uh... Why would Sadiq Khan be there? He's a Liverpool fan. Well, because he owns the stadium. The London Mayor basically is the ultimate boss. He comes to the Liverpool game always there. Mm. Well, Brady invites him and he usually turns it down. Let, fucking me. please move on. There's so much you fucking <laughs> no, no. said in that sentence that fucks me off. Get fucking on with it. <laughs> Ted Sexton says, good evening, gentlemen. Hope you had a peaceful Easter. Not really. Question. When the friendly international was played at the stadium, who got what of the income? And what did you think of the Belgium kit colour? Brand shorts with the white stripe. Strange choice with the blue shirt. I thought it was awful. Coventry Disappointed City. with Saturday's result. That was the Columbia game against oh, Belgium. Played. Columbia won one nil. They wanted, I think they wanted for Mars seat, which was a friendly. I looked it up. I thought oh, I'll have a bit of that, and then I think they wanted like forty quid. No, thirty five pound. I thought nah, not 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 to watch that. Thank you very what much. Were they Should have been a tenner. Get, what was the what was the attendance by the way? I don't know. attendance, Sean. I don't know. I can find out. Find out, but anyway. Just... Interesting. Who was it? Because it was. I thought it was Colombia Spain. against Belgium. Columbia, Columbia versus Spain. Belgium. Oh, was it Spain? Well, we played it? Belgium. Oh yeah. Oh, we we played. So it was Columbia it was against Columbia Spain. Columbia versus Spain. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got two questions then. Being greedy, Ted. I know you're my mate. By the way, on. West Ham got nothing. It would have all gone to. Uh... Yeah, it all goes to the stadium. Yeah. Yeah, we know we'd have got nothing. But why would they play that in London? So the players don't have to travel because Colombia's got a lot of European based footballers. Yeah, but why not play it in Spain? 44,000. It's a home game for Colombia. 44,000. 44,000 went to that game. Bloody hell. Wow. There you go. Very round number. I never trust round numbers in attendance, but there you go. 
Tonight's winner of the funniest comment of the night goes to Samantha Vardy. Shed man, how's the kitchen getting on? Oh. Anyway, we move on. See, that's <laughs> what happens when you have an away game. How is the kitchen getting on? I thought you were it, extending it. Well, yeah, but it got, it's obviously the, the, the finishing touches of the oh, extension. Oh, snagging. <laughs> I've been delayed because of my football, um, because of my, obviously, and obviously I, yesterday I went down B&Q um, to get the parts that I needed uh, to discover B&Q was shut. Uh, so therefore, nothing got done. And we had family day today. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, never mind, dear. Uh, you know the drill, 30-odd years. Grant Croxford, oh, we've done him. Although he says, after hearing Nigel talk about the stadium move and the GSB agenda, as he thought about recording or writing about it, so it's not lost to time. Woo. Also, what was the reaction to the Bobby Moore stand when it was first announced constructed opened? Did people take well to it, or was it seen as getting away from the old-style ground? Brady out, Sullivan out, and needless fan aggravating outs. Brady out, you, Sullivan Sean. out. Is he talking Boys about out. me? Yeah, needless fan aggravating out. That's you. Yeah. Is it me? Well, it ain't Ian. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think the first reaction to Bobby Moore stand was welcome because actually it was? it was all to do with the uh, Taylor report. Taylor report. Uh, after the Hillsborough disaster when it was deemed that football clubs needed to go... Um, me, it, was, it was was it was the same year as he died as well, wasn't it? So well, it was uh, like, as, as luck would have it, yeah, for West Ham, uh, Bobby Moore had the good grace to die when they were searching for a name of the stadium because it was definitely yeah. when it was in planning was never going to be called. Yeah, was, yeah, was never going to be called the Bobby Moore stand if he'd been alive. God forbid uh, the club ever do something like that. Um, but then it was part, actually, the funny thing about it, I think the Bobby Moore stand and the Centenary stand were part of the Bond scheme. So when the Bond scheme was mooted and the uh, new building of Upton Park was going to take place, they were the two stands that were going to be built. And that would have reduced Upton Park. If the Bond scheme had gone through and West Ham had followed through with what they were planning, the capacity of Upton Park would have been 27,000, I believe. Uh, do you know what crossed my mind the other day, right? Mm -hmm. At that time, 93, 94, of this Bond yeah. scheme, yeah. Um, Golden Sullivan went to the club. Well, they, they so, were minority... They de no, okay. I think they'd just gone to Birmingham. Uh, Didn't they go to gone. Birmingham in 93? Yeah. They w I think it was like, I think they bought in 89 at relegation, 89, 90. I think it's to do with the time. I think they bought the Jack Petty shares. They did. Because Jack went off to Watford, because he bought Watford off of Elton John. And then, um, for whatever reason, um, so, Sullivan, Golden Sullivan stepped in and bought his shares, and they they couldn't buy any more because the rest of the shares were held by like the Hills Trust and Lady Ogilvy yeah. something up in Scotland owned shares. Who it's was just the granddaughter of? They didn't even want to invest in the stadium back then either, did they? Uh, I mean, no. they like you know, Sean's no. very quick to point out that they <coughs> money invested in property. Him see it, do you? It could have got a good return on that as well. There you go. Yeah. There she were. Uh, maybe one day, Grant. Oh, let me let me finish the kitchen first for a look at doing anything else. And we, oh, really? <laughs> regarding podcasts. Uh, Dodzy says, uh, all right, there are my handsomes. We don't, actually, for the first time. Evening, trust all are well. Uh, good to see Nigel on Saturday. It was good, Dodds, wasn't it, to catch up? Goals are fun. That's why he was there. Oh, Where did you see yes. him? I see him in the ground, outside the ground. We had our photo oh, done together. Oh, right. So. He disappeared uh, off somewhere at one point. Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop not it. That, not what? that I see. Uh, any, anyway. You are not He's got to tell you what, he better make the most of going to fucking um, Germany. Yeah, I'll I think it's all over. If I was him. Do you? What? You think it's all over? 
after this yeah, I do. round. Fucking yeah. tough, isn't it? Are Cost you going to Germany or you, can you not talk about that, Nigel? Um, th- th- there are plans afoot. I need a ticket. Fuck it, that's a big fucking stumble. I mean, there. Let's, let's, I, I, do you know what? I don't know if it was <laughs> ultimate baiting by Leverkusen, but they announced on Twitter that they'd passed 50,000 members. And yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, you bastards, you had 35 euros off for me. For Did nothing. you get the refund? Because there's a. Well, I didn't get a ticket. Yeah, but you're allowed a re. If you don't get a ticket, you're allowed a refund. Yeah, but your membership. you still got not on my membership. membership. Yeah, I'm still are. a member. No, you you're allowed to get a, a refund. I'll send yeah, but you a I didn't link. get. If I'll, you didn't get a well, ticket, you're allowed a refund. They, they what, on your 35 it. euros? Yeah, correct. But what if you did get a ticket? They're giving you a refund anyway. No, no. If you got a ticket, you don't get a refund. You, you can't. But they're cancelling the ticket, Sean. No, well, no, the ticket. No, hang on. That's what I've seen the, the email. That's what the Leverkusen fans said. Are you saying they have cancelled them now? I don't know. No, I don't know what, what's going on. That's what Leverkusen fans were saying. It sounds like Leverkusen were encouraging people... West Ham fans to apply for. It's a neutral area next to the away fans and they knew what they were doing. Actually, it's... right, and this is a thing, Sean, again, you yeah. pick you up. What they said was, they didn't class it as a neutral area. I know they, they didn't. They said, H9 and a couple of other areas, we're in 9 and H1, uh, will only be sold to new members. Yeah, so they were encouraging it. So they ain't going to cancel yeah. them, is my understanding. Well, at one point, yeah, they had 70,000 people in the waiting room. 120. I've got a I've got a screenshot which I did as a story. 120,000 mm. people in front of the the person oh, who right. took the screenshot. Yeah. Right, okay. How That's many were in front of you? Uh well, I, I couldn't read in German, so I just kept refreshing the <laughs> Well, you should have asked, you would have asked uh, Ian. Ian's a uh, fluent uh, uh, German uh, talker. Das ist reading. doch wahr. There you go. Whatever yeah, he yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, anyway. I thought yeah. you did speak German. Bin, ich bin ein Berliner. No. Uh, which no, obviously I mean, translates as I am I am a donut. Yeah. Uh, so, it's true. there you go. And I do like a Berliner donut, because that's the donuts you get in the Bible bake, people in Brick Lane. A Berliner is a donut without the hole in the middle. I oh, know my donuts. I told you, Sean, didn't you? Anyway. I don't eat donuts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any refined yeah. sugar at all. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, you look like a Berliner now, though. Uh, 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 Dodsey says, not so much a question, but why is everyone being negative about the result? Um, but especially uh, David Moyes' tactics, which he understands, but there is no praise for the fact we went 3-1 up with 72 minutes gone and stringing passes together fun. Though he does finish with a question. What's your favourite day over the four-day Easter break and why? Brady out. out, out. Brady out. What's your favourite day of Easter break? The Saturday, yeah? (laughs) Yeah. All right. Sean, what's your favourite day? Today, because I had no one. My kids have gone back. My missus is in France with my stepkids. I've had a whole day to myself. Right. Ian, oh, what was your, your favourite day? I okay. don't like Easter. Oh, I'm right. not religious. It's a boring holiday. All right. But you get a day off today. Otherwise, you'd be doing the, the show, wouldn't you? Who's who's covering for you on the show tonight? Dom Jolly. No. Fucking hell. No. <laughs> so he scraped the barrel there, didn't he? I might have to tune in. Is he finished? He finishes in 40 minutes' time. Oh, I might have so, to So ring him up and go, there is a PG in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to do that. It's a woke society. You're not allowed to do that anymore. I'll oh, tell my. you what, if we're, if we were in Scotland today, you could be had up. Yeah, I could be prosecuted. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not bothered. Anyway, it's just a joke, people. Uh, my favourite day is Good Friday. I don't eat fish. Unless, of course, by accident, I forget it's Good Friday, go to Newcastle and have a steak dinner in the Weatherspoons. What do you Much mean you're not allowed to eat fish on Good Friday? Well, Good Friday, you don't eat fish. Yeah, You don't eat meat. You eat fish, yeah, only. Yeah, okay. Fish, yeah. okay. So you shouldn't I'll, eat I'll meat on what, Good Friday. If, if we get to the Europa League final in Dublin, I've got the best restaurant to take you lot to. 
It's honestly the best restaurant I've been to for years. Is it a fish it's restaurant? Site... No, it's not. It's oh, a steak right. restaurant. Where is oh, it? Because I know Dublin quite well. Unbelievable. It's called the 1900, and Ooh. it's on the oh, site the of the 1900 bombed. Harcourt Street train crash. The service is brilliant. The food's brilliant. They have this brilliant um, pian- pianist singer, and it's just the best place. Okay. Yeah, next time I'm in Dublin, I'm <laughs> Nine, I'm ninety quid look. each though. In June. Uh, hey, no, modern no, European, it says. Yeah. And they've got waiters, all real characters, and so they're Spanish and Italian and mainly. It's Irish cuisine with a French influence, it says. Yeah. Interesting. A hidden treasure. Yeah. Make so it's an Irish beef with, with a French sauce, basically. I'm just, I'm just yeah. looking at the a la carte menu. Oh, right. Anyway. Yeah. Matthew Kemp from Spandau Ballet's roadie says, Evening, gents. When the Newcastle game began, the commentator said, West Ham will sit back and attack on the counter. It says, Given everyone knows that's how Moyes sets his team up, what if the other team decided to similarly sit back and attack on the counter? I wonder what the stats would be or even the score. Well, I'll tell you, Matt. It's called 1 0 to Everton. Because that's exactly what happened at the London Stadium. Everton beat us 1 0. And we had 64. The highest possession we've had all season was 64% of the ball against Everton. And we lost 1 0. There you go. That's to be honest, the, the commentators too. always, the, the lady commentator said that David Moyes improves players. Did he? She. Some, oh, well, he he has to, to be well, don't start yeah, there. Yeah, to be fair, he has with one or two, but it, others he's made Who are they? worse. Antonio, I think so. Yeah. Antonio. Yeah, that's Fitch and Antonio. Bowen as well. A yeah, I'll say that. really, but probably. Yeah. But he's on and a... That's the trouble with Moyes. You, you can make an argument either way, and both arguments are valid. Yes. Often. Pretty true. Yeah. Except he's a cunt. <laughs> why do you have to get why do you have to use language like oh, that no. well why does he have to be a cunt if you want to come no. we'll have to fucking oh, say it would I Adam Levitt it's only four letters Sean uh, Adam Levitt <laughs> says what do you think of season tickets and the concession problem we didn't cover this because Sean kept interrupting me people in the previous podcast about how they've scrapped the concessions in the lower tiers you want if you're old get upstairs and if you want to know on, a ticket for new season tickets, what I would say is, what have you been doing for the last 65 years that you didn't get a season ticket? When you've reached 66, you suddenly go, oh, yeah, I fancy a season ticket, right? Well, because not... you've retired, you've got Retire. more time on your hands. Yeah. Well, possibly. But... Oh, right. So there you go, Sean. But, but That's the... your problem. You live in a Sean bubble, yeah? It's yeah. not even a real bubble. You live in a no. Sean bubble. But yeah. most yeah. people don't suddenly don't retire at 66, and somebody no, go, I, I want to go and get a season ticket where I haven't yeah, got one all my life. Well, yeah, because they might they, have been doing did. shift work, Sean, or working weekends. All right. That's exactly what well, people did. What are you not doing banning them. Now, right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. They might have more money than they've ever had before because their kids have left and they're not working and they might have a final, si- uh, final salary pension, right? We're not right. banning them from 19- Oh, Sean. Or oh, Sean, they've worked in the supermarket all their life, ain't got a pension, they haven't lied on the measly hand out. Well, then they can go, frozen. well, they can go in band six then, and like you, have a cheap a season Oh, but they've got, to cr- they've got to get Hang upstairs on. then. Before they? anyone Two complains, lots of stairs. 1966 and 1966 West have never had concession discounts from 2016. Who's complaining about that? I'm talking about the whole place, Sean. No, it's not the whole place. Just bands one to four, allegedly. Well, that's the whole lower tier, Sean. Yeah, it is the whole lower tier. Right. So there are lifts, sit... as you said, there are lifts to get up. Yeah, you try and use them, oh, Sean. Oh, I don't know about that. I won't yeah, there you go. Point. Thank you very much. Talk about what you know, which is very little. But mo- all what all you I'm don't making know the those point that is that most people that use those concession have been season tickets for many, many years. I, I, I accept that some people, there's an exception to the rule. Let's oh. see. If you don't like it, protest. Do what Spurs have done and see if you can change the mind of the club. Of course, Sean, you would never show solidarity with anybody else, don't no. you? Because you're an I'm all right, Jack person. No, yeah. of course not. <clears throat> well, he does go. show 
solidarity with them wankers at the club. But I if, know, that's the mad thing about it. Yeah. If you've got enough money, right, <coughs> and some people have got day. a lot of money when they retire, why not? A lot of pay... people haven't, Sean. But some have. This is the thing, Sean. You're, you, again, you're in the Sean bubble, isn't it? All my friends yeah. that live around me when they retire have all got a lot of money. Yeah, all the people I know that retire ain't got a lot of money. Yeah, but you, you, when you retire, you may do a little bit of consultancy work or be a non-executive director and you can earn money elsewhere, you know? Oh, yeah. I spent my life stacking shelves. What consultancy work can I get? Yeah. You, I've been a lorry driver all my life. Ago, a few years ago, there was a survey of the average earnings from, uh, of supporters from all Premier League clubs, and it turned out that we had the highest average earnings of any club in the country. Has that been done recently? I don't know, but I'm a look. I'd be that. surprised at that. Eh, to be fair, I, I don't know. You know, because it's, there's two types of earning, isn't there? There's what you earn, and there's what the tax man thinks you earn. You know, so I'm sure you know that. Eh, self-employed person. <laughs> for some of us, Nigel, that's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing <laughs> for me too. <laughs> All right. Anyway, swiftly <laughs> moving on. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I paid the penalty during anyway, COVID, you, you, though. Anyway, you're, uh, you're a PAYE person. Now. I am now. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a reason for that. Yeah. There's a reason why I had to go PAYE in the end. Because you got uh, investigated. Anyway, we move <laughs> on. <laughs> Actually, don't, don't move on yet. Right, Sean, can you buy your season ticket in cash? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway. We can now. move on now. We will move on. I'm you can actually. A, 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 you can you go to At one the of the window. windows, yeah, and pay in cash. I might do that. Okay. If you they don't, in the third degree is, well, how did you get that money? Because every time I try and pay for something in cash, yeah. they give you the third degree nowadays. But what you can do truth. is get a, get get a, a prepaid credit card. Stick the old stick the old money in that. Slip 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 slip, and go and play with a prepaid credit card. Money laundering. Not that I do that at all. <coughs> yeah. Money laundering. Saying. There's always maze and wins. Anyway, says Mick Clifford. Oh, Matt Crawley is up first. Creepy. As VAR spoiled our game. Brady out. Brady out. Yes. Creepy. Yes. Well, I didn't hear the question. As VAR, well, it's, yes. It's VAR spoiled our game. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, purely for the reason that you cannot celebrate a goal properly anymore because you're constantly no. thinking... Is that going to go to VAR? And of course, every single goal goes to VAR, even if we don't realise it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I celebrated all three properly. Yeah. You don't know. You, when that moment goes in, I still celebrate like properly, as properly as I do. I don't jump about like a madman, but uh, it's not about limbs for me. I like to keep hold of mine. Uh, Mick Clipper, the shed man, would say, I do say, goals are fun. And it was it was a good game. Hi, everyone. He says, hope you're all well, including you, Sean. Oh. He, he has a question. Uh, John Lyle was manager when we, were to, when we were supposed to push on after our third place finish in 85-86. The underwhelming signings of Strutter and Tommy McQueen told the likes of Tony Curti we, really, uh, we weren't really taking it to another level. Given it wasn't Lyle's fault, as he wasn't given the money, obviously, what do you think would have happened if social media had been around then? What do you think would happen well, we, we would if more is done before it turned up? Ung, drawn and quartered, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Brady out. Brady out. I'll tell you what, if social media was around, Lyle wouldn't have got through 1979. No. Yeah, but it, it weren't around. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have got past it. No, no you're no, right. It weren't around, and he did get past it. And um, this is the thing: but, there's, there's, there was things that Lyle could do because it wasn't around. Like yeah. it would, this, take go back to Saturday. Lyle would never put, from what I've heard, he would never put Phillips in that position where he'd have given given the fans the bird because he just no. wouldn't have. He wouldn't have hanged him out the dry like that. I'll tell you what, if we if we were losing late in the game, he would bloody go for it. Yeah. But it's Lyle must have made mistakes. He'd go for it at the back. Yeah, Alvin uh, up front. Along with it, whoever the two strikers were, because he always played with two strikers. Yep. Yeah. I know it's a novel idea, but maybe if you put more strikers on the pitch, you might get more goals. Just saying. 
he'd put his two strikers on, and then he would throw forward one of the centre halves. Mm. Though sometimes if strikers were injured, he would play centre halves up front and all. But hey, enough about that. Anywho, yeah. uh, Fimbar McKay. Ooh. Evening, gents, says Fimbar. He's going to have a bit of a rant. But just can't understand how the Moyes' brain works. Do you think his record of two league wins this year is acceptable with the quality of players we have? Not really, no, at all. to be honest. Do, it, it, here's one you're, you're like, Lynn. Do you think Flynn Downs would do a better job than the middle finger boy? Well, Possibly. He was doing a better actually. job. I think, yeah. How could he... Uh, could have, they could, I'm not sure how he, how he could have done any better, actually. Hmm. I, I like I don't Downs. don't understand it. I'm don't pleased he's only on loan. Every match I saw him play, he was either player of the match or one of the top three. Yeah, and I don't know what he could have done Why on earth they decided that he wasn't for the future, I do not know. No. But he's only on loan. And he's doing well at Southampton, even though they got beat today. So we can get him back. It's never good, though, is it, when they go out on loan no. down there? and He just don't like him. Uh, Finbar cracks on. Do you think that Doris the Tea Lady would make better decisions. Can anyone stomach his post-match interviews anymore? No. I must admit, I didn't bother watching them. Uh, no, funny we are linked them. with Tony. We've not actually Never. covered that. No. When they want people to pay more for their season tickets yeah. next year. Moyes out, Brady Finn out, Barley Sullivan to get swallowed up. Everyone up. fucking out. Yeah. Fuck's sake, he's got What's this about Tony, up, Sean, that's coming out? There's always been an interest in Tony, and you're probably aware we were offered him. Um... And so all I can tell you is, and, and I think X covered this, but I don't think it's any serious interest. I think X mentioned him on the podcast, and that's been repeated a few times. Um, he's someone of interest, and he has been someone of interest for a long, long time. We're not whether, of interest to him. Well, maybe not. And, and whether we will actually put a bill in come the summer, uh, I don't think it's that far. All I can say is he's he's a player of interest along with another hundred players that are of interest that we follow. You know, who wouldn't be following Tony? He's a good goal yeah. scorer. Yeah. Which is why uh, he won't be interested in us. Well next up it's I bet Ryan. he would be. Do you see what I did there? Why? I bet he oh, would yeah, be. I'll get it. I'll oh get yeah, it. oh yeah. Well Very good. <clears throat> yeah. Ryan Conan Doyle is up next. Evening, all says. Great game Saturday. Once again, sport by VAR Moyes trying to be Moyes. It's not yep. just working once more. How many times has he made in-game errors this season, causing us to self-destruct? Yep. When do you think they'll announce if he's staying or not? Full for June, the day after season ticket renewals? Or even later to get new mugs in to watch the tosh? And why does he insist trying to sit back and defend with the weakest part of our team without our best DM Alvarez? His arrogance is baffling me and I'm worried we won't even be in the game for the second leg against Leverkusen if we defend how we have been. Get them all out. Get them all out. Everyone out. The only thing I'd like, I'd sit down and ask Dave, I would say, Dave, right, do you really want us to defend like that at the end of games because it is baffling um, when it Easy. happens time and time again you know you, you do think well why don't you try something different why not He's an addict. leave the team there and I get it because what happens is he does get criticised a lot I don't make substitutions but then he makes, but then again, and I don't get why the people that criticise him about not making substitutions then criticise him about the substitutions he makes. Because me, I'd rather criticise him about making substitutions. I'd rather he'd left the same 11 out there. Flog yeah, him. me too. You know? Jesus Christ, the championship players have just played Saturday and Monday. We, we don't even ask Premier League players to do that anymore. I remember 78, Crossy played we played two games on the on the yeah, chart. I've two just wrote about that actually. Oh, did you? He got an hat trick in one. He did. Yeah, that's how I heard yeah. about him. Yeah, he got an hat trick in one, and then uh, so he got hat trick against Dipswich on the Good Friday, and then on the Saturday on we Saturday, beat uh, yeah we beat Chelsea three one. One in that didn't he? The very next day no, didn't. 
but we won 3-1 the very next game. Yeah. So. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. Don't tell, don't tell them how it ends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'd spoil it. Uh, hey up, says Nick Harvey. Oh, yeah, up, Nick. Right. Yeah, Brad, Brad, Nick up. Oh, no, it's Nick. Oh. It says Nick Harvey. Hey up, gents. They just sound the same. I think they're brothers. Really out, Sullivan Ready out. out, and the cowardly Ready one out. Out. Coward out. out. Coward out. Look, coward. There we go. Belong to your son, Nick. <coughs> Any truth in reports that the kit manufacturers have designed a playful update of a home kit, and it will have cross dildozers, homage to the senior sources services, to adult entertainment. Brady out, Stooge out. Yorkshire pudding to Acne Marshes. Everyone out. What Super does that mean? Chrissy what does that mean? I don't know. I don't he, know. Your, the Yorkshire pudding was a name oh, yes. given to Chris Phillips. Phillips. Oh, I right. think it was by Big Dave. Oh, was it? There you go. Okay. Might be Big Dave. Might be Chris Chris Mills. Him. Evening, gents. It seems like Grand Dog Day, but why does Sean always compare our price structure and unwanted changes to other clubs? Yes, why, Sean? Why do yeah. you finger point? I don't know. It's just, I we think... We do. That... <laughs> we don't reveal our sausages are made. Um, it's it's good to compare. Um, <laughs> it's a bit like, you know, Tesco's. You compare with Sainsbury's and Waitrose and but we're not do customers. a price comparison. Well, we are customers. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, we do. You, you have to compare. Otherwise, without yeah, comparing, you don't know whether something yeah. is value for money, do you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or someone's fatter than someone else. Exactly. Depends who so you want when, to when you pay, it? how much is it? How much do you think are you paying for the team you're watching? Or how much of it is it you paying for the surroundings you're sitting in? Well, you could probably work that out if, if you wanted to do a formula. But you're mostly mm-hmm. paying for the wages. And, mm-hmm. I mean, let's be honest, we're paying £4 million for the ground. Right, so that's a right. very small right, let's, let's get this in. It. Okay, well, you're if mainly that's the paying case, then, for the Sean. players' wages. <clears throat> right, okay. If that's the case, then Sean, why do all football clubs charge different prices for tickets in regards to the view that you get? Well, do you know what? It's it's an old capitalism trick, right? Supply and demand. Is the it? best seats. You pay something mm. is worth as much as someone is prepared to pay for it. That's the old trick right that's the old saying right so you, you know for any football club no. supply and demand would would price yeah. a seat or a corporate hospitality or a box or whatever the experience is as much as they can get away with that's the old capitalism no. rule so you know you don't deliberately right price it as cheap as you can <laughs> you do you, you what will the market bear Right, Do you not agree the, with that? But no, because what I said, Sean, was what are you paying when you buy a ticket? You you're, you're, you're giving a revenue to a club to spend on their outgoing. But why so, do they charge you depending on the view? So surely, therefore, because they're the you're most desirable. What, so it's, so it's what you're paying for is the surroundings symbol. that you're in. There's no, a no, reason no, no, why. No, 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 no Sean. There's a reason why my seat is still cheaper than it would have been at Upton Park. We all know that reason why, because it wouldn't be in fucking Upton Park, would it? No. Right. It'd be on the Barking but, but, Road. Agreed in somewhat, but they, you've got to factor in the tourist thing of people who are coming to London paying to see a Premier League game and not caring just about being there and then the, <sighs> the meet, you know, being in that generation, the Instagram generation or, or being there for the experience. So I would point out that the reason why Tottenham fans, generally Tottenham fans have paid more money than us, and Arsenal fans, and probably Chelsea fans. They trophy cabinets are bigger than ours, after all. Spurs? Well, Spurs trophy cabinet is still bigger than ours, Sean. (sighs) Going back a long way. Okay, well, let's let's look at how many league championships has Spurs won? Well, in Premier League era... No, I didn't say Premier League, did I? Well, let's just talk about Premier League, because everything we well, talk no, about no, no, is no, Premier no. League. No, 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 football did... Oh, see, you're making up the rules as you go along. It's a bit no, like on I... the last podcast. 
It's not making up the rules. <laughs> this is a genuine You're question. just talking historically since they were formed. Of course they've won more than West Ham. Right, but you then. can't, a bit like people say West Ham can't trade on, you know, 1966 and 1965 and everything else, right? You, you've got to move they to do, the modern though. era. They yeah, we do, do but lot. we're told we shouldn't do that. Oh, right. Don't pull, stop and put it on the reason, pyjamas right, and whatever look, you want. In some ways, Spurs are brilliant at milking customers. And um, Kieran Maguire says this on Price of Football. It's an art there of detaching people, customers or fans from their money. They take more ticket revenue. They take more in catering. They take more in beer. They take more in uh, merchandise than any other Premier League club. Their machine under Daniel Levy is just a pure machine to detach people from their money. But is that because they gave them a stadium fit for World No, they designed it to to take money away from them. And, and, you know, I know Spurs fans that moan about the the cost of it all. But if you've got one or two choices, you you either are a season ticket holder or you're not and you just don't go to games anymore. You get priced out. And I know a lot of Spurs fans have been completely priced out the going to games and they only watch it on TV now. And we've got to accept that's part of the modern game. You may not like it, but it is part of the modern we game. We don't have no, no. We don't have to fucking accept it. We were given a condition. That's why we fucking moved. Tell us we have to fucking accept it. Family affordable football that's will right. be quietly dropped. I promise you. Where yeah, like every year. other fucking like every one of those ten fucking points. It's like Animal Farm. I know you are Napoleon. <laughs> Go on, move on, <laughs> Nigel. Gets my fucking nerves. <laughs> Dan Numbers said, "Did the ball boy not giving up his stall cost Lena painting opportunity? We well, could nah. paint the ball boy, actually. Yeah, and, and could have. Oh, then I got to, to paint fucking <coughs> paint dreads, didn't I? Where'd they fucking come from? Mm. Uh, Clearly extensions. Brain- well, I yeah. A pair of fake tits. He, he asked, has Nigel words. used the Brady Bog roll yet? Um, no, Dan, um, not yet. I don't, I don't know, I might. I don't know whether... Well, have not, you actually. explained to our listeners and to Ian what this... Uh, so Brady. Dan Numbers kindly purchased me a roll of toilet paper with Karen Brady's face on it with the logo <sighs> Brady out on every sheet. Wow. Please tell me you haven't used it. I've not used it yet. But then if I did Wait use it, it wouldn't be shits. a good photograph. Though, Dan, I think the next one could be someone that lives in Surrey, and I may probably use that. Um, Are you coming in? Yes. Okay. Especially right, I'm, being eject- I'm being ejected, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Yeah, see you, right, Ian. Mate. Thanks for coming Cheers, on. Cheers, Bye, Ian. Bye. Bye. See ya. Brady doing all she can with a season ticket details to fill it with neutrals with deep pockets. Brady out. Brady out. Colonel Sanders says, evening all. He said, I'm in Grand Canary with the Mrs. Colonel for our anniversary and be looking for a bar in Las Palmas to watch the smash the fuck out of Tottenham. Do you know any West Ham supporters clubs here in Grand Canaria? Sean, do you know any? I don't know. I'm, I'm, off, to, I'm off to Tenerife, by the way. Just reminded me this week. Are you going to pop in to see Michael? Now? I am, yeah. I've just been talking to Michael Levy Jr. Right. And I'm going to go and see him. Uh, before. Funny enough, he while I'm out there, he flies to the UK and does a UK tour. Um, oh, but I'm gonna, he's there for f- three nights while I'm over. So I am going to oh, go right. and see Michael Levy Jr. Finally. Never know I might. You, nearly, you could have got away, but unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't know. But uh, Grand Canary, it's a while since I've been there. Oh. It is something that's really handy. Um, the West Ham official website, Fans Hammer Hubs, find the club, International Supporters Club, and when you put it in, it just tries to sell you shit. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's your fucking capitalist there. For a minute now, they look like they were going to make it out they were trying to help you. No. You can buy either a Leica mobile phone for £13 a month, Oh, they're trying to sell tickets for the Spurs game still. <clears throat> or you can go to the shop and buy some shitty training gear mother by JWP and the Cat Kicker. Mm. Wasn't very helpful, was it? No. I can't find anything about Grand Canary here. 
I'm going to so, ask uh, AI. Uh, Richard Kemp, another colonel, said the Mona Lisa took 17 years to paint. Samantha Hardy. Art That's can't true. be rushed. There you go. And then Dodsy pipes up. I could could have finished the kitchen instead of going to Newcastle. Shut up, Dodds. That's what I was saying. And that's therefore... Yeah, don't start talking to people with wife, us. Dodds. Yeah, <laughs> that brings us to the end of Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. Question time. Thank you very much, people. Thank hey. all your advances. Excellent. Now, tonight. will there be... I'm I'm in Tenerife, as I said, uh, next Monday. Will there be an episode next Monday? Probably. Uh, we've got two games to talk about, so I would imagine so. Two Especially games? Especially if you're not about. Yeah, two games, yeah. Tottenham and... Who was the other game? Wolves. Is it Wolves? They're both at home, aren't they? No, no Wolves, is, Wolves away. is away. Wolves is away. Wolves away. Is that on the weekend? Yes, on Saturday. On Saturday. Oh, yeah, mm. there will be two games. Well, you're hosting them, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if it happens. Well, it happens. I've hosted podcasts before. I oh, know, I know. Yeah. Generally, they don't crash or get lost. Oh, or... well done. That happened once, guys. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> anywho, uh, that's all we have for the two episodes this week. Uh, I have been Sean again. Uh, Ian has been and gone because he's in trouble with his... Uh, his partner, John, for, for spending too long with us tonight. Uh, Nigel has been... Calm down. <laughs> and Len has been... Um, wound up by you, really. That's what I'm here for. Come on, you iron. Yeah, I know. Bobby Moore. More than just a 